with Ann Fullwood. A wild car chase and shootout on the Gold Coast after an armed robbery. A big reward offered as the Arnott's poison deadline passes. And a one-time corporate chief faces court for a multi-million dollar fraud. Good evening. Shoppers were forced to flee today as police and gunmen exchanged fire at a crowded Gold Coast mall. More than a dozen shots were fired as officers chased two men after an armed robbery. Tonight, one man is in police custody, another remains at large. The botched convenience store armed hold-up dramatically escalated into a dangerous high-speed chase. In a movie like Cops and Robbers scene, police following a stolen Commodore came under fire. There were no injuries, but worse was to come, with the desperate gunmen fleeing their disabled car inside a packed shopping centre. It pulled up and a guy jumped out of it, and another guy got out and shot it like police. They're in an escalator going down into the shopping centre. Into the shopping centre on foot, shots fired, I've fired four rounds. The bandits dumped their shotgun, but police weren't taking any chances. Thousands of shoppers were evacuated, the manhunt paralysing the heart of Southport. Security vision shows shoppers falling to the ground as police pounced on two innocent bystanders. All the cops had their guns out and is like real life stuff. There were to be more false alarms, but despite previous media reports, the first arrest happened just a short time ago. A 24-year-old Sydney man's been charged. His accomplice remains at large. On the Gold Coast, Ross Dagan, Seven Nightly News. A $100,000 reward's being offered tonight by the New South Wales... Era ...beginning with the armed robbery of a Palm Beach convenience store just after 1 p.m. He came over with a gun and put it on my face, and he said, get up. And I, and I, I put my hands up like now, shaking. Shots were fired at police as they picked up the high-speed chase of the pair in a stolen Commodore. He's incorrect side of the road, incorrect side of the road. Patrol cars were peppered with buckshot, two crashed as the desperate hunt weaved towards Southport. Yes, they got level the street there, car park, shots fired. An aerial camera followed the chase into a shopping centre car park where the damaged getaway car was abandoned and more shots were fired as the bandits made their way into a lift. Sheer panic followed as armed police flooded the complex, ordering everyone out. Detectives found a shotgun left behind in the lift. As police sharpshooters surrounded the centre, a bizarre twist as the hunt suddenly switched to the highway. This time, no escape and no shots fired. Police made their arrests, ready to shoot. You're on the ground. Both men surrendered. Inside their station wagon, balaclavas, wigs, but detectives had the wrong men. The three were just skylarking to attract police. Michael Lyons for Nightline. Sydney police evacuated the centre. Hundreds of people were hurried outside and shops closed up. At least one shot was fired. As Finally, they were caught in a highway near Surface Paradise after another high-speed chase. Police divers from Sydney will tomorrow join the search for a suburban shopping centre after a dozen shots were fired. Hundreds of shoppers were forced to flee. The chase for the gunman began shortly after 12.30 when the pair held up a convenience store at Palm Beach. Up to a dozen shots were fired during the 20-minute pursuit, which reached speeds of up to 120 kilometres an hour. Eventually, the getaway car was driven into the Australia Fair shopping centre. He's going to go into the shopping centre car park. The gunman then abandoned their vehicle on the fourth level of the car park at the busy shopping centre. Showing signs of having been stolen and hot-wired, the Commodore also had two tyres blown out, evidence of the gunman's desperation to evade police. Once in the shopping centre, they dumped their sawn-off shotgun in a lift, but not before unloading a volley of shots. I heard about five or six shots, if not more, behind me. Yeah, so I was just waiting for something to hit me. Dozens of police swarmed the shopping centre, evacuating everyone from the building. Everybody out of the shopping centre, please. A pair of overalls worn by one of the bandits was found as a pregnant woman was treated for a heavy fall during the race to get out of the centre. Late this afternoon, police questioned three men who have since been released. David Mackay, 10 News. A delivery man is fighting for his life in a Sydney hospital after...
Gold Coast Mall.